Today's August 7th. The planning board will come to order. It's 6.30 p.m. May we have roll call, please? Dan Young. Present. Becky Lipson. Present. Clayton Walker. Present. Christina Enix. Present. John Porter. Present. Mark Seward. Present. Valerie Ritz. Present. Jenna Welting. Present. Kevin Cross is excused. Thank you. May we have a motion, please, for the um, Pledge of Allegiance? Mr. Walker, Ms. Welton seconds. Is there any objection? May, uh, everybody, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Do we have any approvals tonight? Uh, action summaries. We have a summary of action for July 17th, 2019. Do we uh, have a motion to approve? Mr. Walker, Ms. Ritz seconds. Are there any comments or objections? Hearing and seeing none, the summary of action is approved. We have minutes from July 19th. May we have a motion to approve the minutes? Mr. Walker, Ms. Ritz seconds. Are there any comments, adjustments, or objections to the minutes? Hearing and seeing none, the minutes are approved. We have, um, let's see, we have several short plats that are for informational purposes only. Are there any, um, any comments on these? Next item is special order of business. Yeah. And special order of business is disclosures. Are there any disclosures tonight? Ms. Welson. Uh, yes, I have um, one disclosure to make on case S12486. I represent one of the developers involved in this um, transaction and I would um, request to be directed not to participate. Thank you. Um, may I, in the matter of case S12486, was it 86? May I have a, a motion directing Ms. Wilson to participate, please? Mr. Walker. And Don Porter seconds. Mr. Walker, will you speak to your motion, please? Yes, I... Um Move that Jenna Welton be directed not to participate in case S12486. She represents a party to the transaction and would obviously is, has a financial interest in the outcome of the case. Okay, I'll restate the motion. Uh, I move that. Uh, that Jenna Welton be directed to participate in case S12486. I will not be supporting the motion. Thank you. And Mr. Walker, or Mr. Porter seconds. Is there any discussion? Um, any, um, what we need to vote correctly? Okay, so we, we vote. Yes, a uh, yes vote is to participate, a uh, no vote is to not participate. That motion failed. Ms. Wilson, you're directed not to participate in case S12486. Thank you. Are there any other disclosures tonight? I have, I'm gonna combine my disclosures. So in the matter of case S12486 and S12491, my firm has done work for the petitioner in the past. In the case of S124, um, nine one. I have been an employee of the petitioner's representative more than 30 years ago. 
I have no financial or personal interest in the matters before the board. I can remain impartial in fact and action as a member of this board without personal bias. My past involvement and personal interests will not prevent me from fairly evaluating the facts of this case. May I have a positive motion directing me to participate. Mr. Walker. I move that Dan Young be directed to participate in cases S12486 and S12491. He uh, has no um, financial income or out, out, uh, no financial interest in the matters before the board, and he has stated he can be impartial as a matter of fact in the, in the matters without personal bias and um, he can fairly evaluate the cases. Accordingly, I am supporting the motion. Mr. Porter seconds. Is there any objection to me participating in these two cases? Hearing and seeing none, I'm directed to participate. Next item on the business, we don't have a consent agenda. We don't have old business, so the next item is new business. The procedure by which the public may speak to the planning board at its meeting is, after the staff presentation is completed on public hearing items, the chair will ask for public testimony on the issue. Persons who wish to testify will follow the time limits established by the commission rules of procedure. <coughs> Petitioners, including his or her representatives, have 10 minutes. Part of this time may be reserved for a rebuttal. You can reserve the time for a rebuttal in advance, but any remaining time is also available for rebuttal. Representatives of groups, community councils, PTA, etc., have five minutes, and individuals have three minutes. When your testimony is complete, you may be asked questions by the board. You may only testify once on any issue unless questioned by the board. Any individual may have appeal rights relating to any action the planning board takes. Appeal of this decision or any of the conditions is governed by AMC 21.11.304. The decision of the board at the scheduled public hearing shall become final seven calendar days after the date the decision is made on the record unless a written request is submitted to the planning division prior to the expiration of the seventh day to prepare a written decision based upon the record made at the hearing and the request is accompanied by a written notice of intent to appeal. Adoption of the written decision by the planning board becomes the final appealable decision within 20 days of the final appealable decision. An interested party must file with the municipal clerk either a written motion alleging new evidence or changed circumstances per AMC 21.11.503 or by an appeal of the board's final appealable decision per AMC 21.30. With that, we'll start the public hearing and with new business and may we have staff's presentation, please. Uh, thank you. This first case, case is um, Romig Park Subdivision, uh, Block 4, Lot, I'm sorry, Romig Park Subdivision, Lot 9B. This is a request to subdivide one lot into one different lot with vacation of a 40-foot wide parking, reserve parking area and variance from uh, dedication of streets um, regulation. The purpose of the plat is to clean up the platting and easements around Romig Park Subdivision, Block 4, Lot 9A. Um, for an existing business. <clears throat> uh, this platting action will bring the site into conformance with the official streets and highways plan, which identifies this section of Spinard Road as a minor arterial requiring 80 feet of right of way. The Spinard Road road construction project is completed and no additional right of way is required adjacent to this site. The platting board approved an identical vacation of the parking reserve parking area on the um, a lot um, on this uh, same section of Spinard Road with that case S12390. The municipal traffic engineer supports uh, the vacation of the 40 foot wide parking uh, reserve area. Um, 
both in the previous case and, and with the case before you today. The petitioner is also requesting a variance from the dedication of streets to Anton Way um, to not have to dedicate five foot to Anton Way. The, um, <clears throat> the uh, uh, traffic, municipal traffic engineer and um, private development uh, both support this uh, variance. Um, this uh, um, was a similar variance for that, uh, that, that same uh, case um, that I previously mentioned. Um, it is undesirable to require uh, this property to dedicate right of way uh, since Anton Way is unlikely to be expanded and uh, serves uh, its purpose uh, currently. So the department finds um, that the, uh, the four standards of approval for a variance um, are met. The department's recommending approval of the vacation, um, approval of the variance, um, and approval of this plat uh, subject to uh, condition number one. This is all on page five of your packet. Um, a draft, um, or the preliminary plat is on page six of your packet. I'd be happy to answer questions. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions of staff? We'll now open this up to the public. May we have the petitioner's representative um, state your names by your last name and let us know if you'd like to reserve time for rebuttal. Hello, uh, my name is Jake Gerondale, G-E-R-O-N-D-A-L-E, -E, and I represent the petitioner, John Weddleton, here tonight. Thank you. Would you like to reserve any time for rebuttal? Uh, no, not at this time. Okay. You may proceed. Okay. Um, so, as staff mentioned, this is basically kind of an ident identical action to a neighboring plat, which just is to clean up the easements along Spernard Road after the recent construction project. Um, the portion of the easement that is being vacated is kind of currently being used as public right away and the remainder um, is being used by Mr. Weddleton for his uh, business. So it's a pretty straightforward plat vacation. Thank you. Are there any questions for the petitioner's representative? Thank you. Yep. Is there anyone wishing to testify tonight on this case? Hi, I'm John Weddleton and I own the property and if you have questions, I will be here. Thank Thanks. you. Is there any, anyone else from public wishing to testify? Would you like to use any of your time for rebuttal? Is there any questions of the petitioner's representative or the petitioner? I have one. So um, either of you can answer this. So what, with the vacation and the variance, what would be the impact to pedestrian traffic? Um, the, the line that's dividing the uh, <coughs> dedication and the uh, vacation is simply the, um, it's a, basically a one foot offset from the back of the current sidewalk that's constructed in Spernard Road. So it wouldn't have any effect to pedestrian traffic along Spernard Road. So no effect to pedestrian traffic along Spernard Road. What about to um, up to um, Fireweed? Would there be any impact to pedestrian tr property uh, or traffic? Not, not that I'm aware of, no. We're not changing uh, any of the current infrastructure that's there today. Thank you very much. Are there any other questions? Uh, Mr. McLaughlin. Uh, Mr. Chair, I had a, a comment on pages 93 and 94 of your packet. There are two public comments. One was in support of um, uh, this uh, preliminary plat. The other one uh, opposed it. Because the person who wrote in opposing it um, did a good job of describing kind of why they were against it and provided their phone number, 
Um, staff called that person and spoke with them and explained, clarified what the plat was really about. And um, he indicated that he was very much in support of the plat, um, but uh, um, I still didn't uh, pull the, uh, his comment out of the packet since it was uh, submitted. But um, this, uh, he's, he's changed his opinion, opinion once he learned more about the project and supports the, uh, um, so they really, he ch he's not in a, opposed to it. Um, and I wanted to put that on the record. Thank you. Thank you. And that's the reason I asked the question. <laughs> Thank you. Well, um, any other questions? We will now close the public hearing. The matter rests with the board. We're going to uh, require three motions. Mr. Walker, um, would you make the first motion, please? In case S12468, Romig Park, Block 4, Lot 9B, I move to approve the vacation of a 40 foot wide reserve parking easement along Spinard Road, dedicated by Platt P. 188A, subject to recording a final plat within 24 months and any approved time extensions. Thank you. And Mr. Porter seconds. Mr. Walker, will you speak to your motion, please? Yeah, I find the vacation request standard is set in 2103-230 um, and that we are supposed to consider the merits of each one separately. Um, we're supposed to deem that there's value there. I find that in this case, um, the vacation will com com meet the uh, official streets and highway plan, which identifies this section of Spinard as a minor arterial and requiring 80 foot of, of right of way. Um, and that the standards are met for vacating this, um, this property it won't have any impact on uh, the on pedestrian or other traffic, and um, it also meets the standards for uh, the parking reserve doesn't lie on the half mile or quarter mile grid and the other standards that are found on uh, page 19 of the staff's packet. Um, and the only negative statement uh, that was on here was a citizen that it was apparently not completely uh, aware of what the um, requested motion was going to result in and once they were advised of the actual impact they um, withdrew their objection so finding no objection also I find in support of the motion thank you are there any other comments is there any opposition to the motion hearing and seeing none the motion passes um, may we have a motion for approval of the variance, please? Mr. Walker. I move to approve the variance from AMC 2108040A2, dedication of streets, to not dedicate the five foot of right of way to Anton Way, subject to recording a final plat within 24 months and any approved time extensions. Thank you. Mr. Porter seconds. Would you, Mr. Walker, will you speak to your motion, please? I find that the standard for uh, granting the variance request is stated on uh, packet page 4, AMC 2103-240-G3, and the four standards are met. Um, we previously found in case S12390 that all of the four standards are met, and it's only consistent in the neighborhood that the same factual findings are made in this case. Um, and I adopt the uh, statements as they're laid out on page 4 and 5 of the staff's packet. Thank you. Is there any other comments, discussion? Is there any opposition to this motion? Hearing and seeing none, the motion passes. May I have a motion for approval of the plat for 24 months, please? Mr. Porter. Yes, I, I move that we approve uh, the plat for 24 months uh, subject to the following a condition of resolving the utility easements. 
Thank you. Mr. Walker seconds. Are there, um, is there any discussion? Is there any opposition to this motion? My only discussion would be the, um, that all of the standards are met with respect to the remaining items. Um, and that meets the standards of the code. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Um, so hearing and, er, again, I'm going to ask, is there any opposition to this motion? Hearing and seeing none, the motion passes. Next item is um, S12486, and Ms. Wilson is recused from this. She's leaving the room. Case S12486, may we have um, staff's presentation, please? Thank you, Mr. Chair. This is a request to remove plat note number nine on plat 20916. The plat note states access from track two to Tudor Center Drive is prohibited. The municipality of Anchorage received assembly approval for relocation of the Anchorage School District transportation facility uh, to the southeast portion of track two. The functionality of the new site will depend on driveway access to both Elmore Road and access to Tudor Center Drive. In, in the criteria of uh, 2103 200 G9, uh, condition A has been met. The origin of the 2009 plat note was placed after Parks and Rec had a concern. The original plat conditions have changed in that the Anchorage Nordic Ski Club representatives and Parks and Recreation have agreed to a separated grade crossing for a driveway over their trail to Tudor Center Drive. Standard B has been met. The MOA Traffic Department has no objection to the plat note removal. Removal of the plat note will not have a negative effect on neighboring properties. The removal of the plat note will only affect one parcel owned by the municipality and will allow a driveway to be placed that will be used approximately 11 hours on school days. Uh, in the findings of standard C have been met, the plat continues to comply with the approval criteria for subdivisions, even with the restrictive plat note. Uh, with that being said, the planning department recommends deleting restrictive plat note number nine and as it conforms to the criteria listed in 2103-200-G9 and no reviewing agencies had any objections subject to uh, standard A or letter uh, A on page three of the staff packet. All happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Are there any questions of staff? Um, may we have the petitioner's representative, please, or the petitioner? State your name for the record. Spell your last name, please. My name is Robin Ward, uh, W-A-R-D. I'm the real estate director for the municipality, and this is one of our projects that is going forward. Uh, I'm really here just to answer any questions, and I don't need to reserve any time for rebuttal. Thank you. Are there any questions of Ms. Ward? Thank you. Is there anyone from the public wishing to testify? Anyone at all? Um, now are there any questions for the petitioner's representative? With that, I'm going to close the public hearing. Matter now rests with the board. Mr. Walker. I move in case S12486 Tudor Municipal Campus plat note removal 
that for tracks one through seven, Tudor Municipal Campus subdivision on plat 2009-16, we should remove the plat note that states access from track two to Tudor Center Drive is prohibited. Thank you, and Ms. Ritz seconds. Mr. Walker, your speech, your motion, please. I find that the proper criteria for removing a track note is stated at 2103-200-G9, and that the four conditions required are met as stated on pa packet uh, pages two and three. Uh, won't have a negative impact on adjacent or nearby properties. There's been no objection from uh, nearby properties. Um, and that the change conditions have occurred. In this case, there's now a development in the area. And previously, there was just a trail. Um, and then the fact that there's going to be limited use of, it, of the driveway to uh, school hours on school days. Um, I find that the... Uh, track note is not needed in this circumstance thank you is there any discussion or, or questions is there any opposition to this motion hearing and seeing none the motion passes may we have somebody um, notify Miss Wilson that she can return Next item on our agenda is case S12491 ADL lease lot subdivision lot 1A. May we have staff's presentation, please? Thank you, Mr. Chair. This is a request for a subdivision that will combine one lot and one tract into one lot at the intersection of West Lake Ridge Drive and Old Glen Highway. This subdivision request is being made as the municipality of Anchorage has ownership of these parcels created by the 2019 18 plat. And this plat in action serves as a final step in the transfer and subdivision for Fire Station 35 cons to consolidate it into one lot. The property is zoned CEPLI. West Lake Ridge Drive appears to be strip paved with a width of approximately 22 feet. Uh, no improvements are recommended at this time. Uh, conformance with adopted plans. The preliminary plat appears to generally conform to the goals and policies of the Chuyaki River Comp Plan. Uh, consistent with the following comprehensive plan goals, preserve and protect high value wetlands, stream corridors, provide fire protection and emergency medical service to all Chuyaki River, and to encourage development patterns which protect general community character and also promote health and safety environments. There was no uh, objections by any of the reviewing agencies. Um, there's a few um, conditions that have been placed on here and planning department's recommended approval of the plat subject to A1, 2, and 3 uh, found on page 6 and 7 of the staff packet. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions of staff? May we have the petitioner's representative, please. S state your name for the record and spell your last name, please. Good evening. My name is Laquita Chmielowski. It's C-H-M-I-E-L-O-W-S-K-I. And I am the land use planning manager with Dal representing the municipality of Anchorage tonight. Um, as staff indicated, this... Oh, I'd like to reserve three minutes for rebuttal. Um, as staff indicated, this is the final step to create the lot for um, Fire Station 35. The first uh, plot was to create two... Uh, create two tracks that were a remnant piece of right-of-way that was vacated by DOT many years ago. And so this is the next step to um, take track A and, cr and make it part of the larger parcel. So with that, if you have any questions. Thank you. Are there any questions for the petitioner's representative? 
We don't have any. Um, you have six minutes and 38 seconds left for rebuttal. Sorry? Oh, plus three. Not, so she has nine minutes and 38. You're doing really well. That sounds better. That's like, a, like time in the bank. Is there anyone from the public wishing to testify tonight? Yes. Please state your name for the record and spell your last name, please. Hi, I'm Charlie Cobb, C-O-B-B. And I'm a resident of West Lakers Drive, the second house from the fire station up the road. And it's not clear to me from, i uh, just like to um, note a general complaint about the quality of the public notices. It's very difficult to tell exactly what's being happening uh, according to the, the flyer. So it's not clear to me whether you're combining the fire station with the wooded area behind the fire station or the fire station with the storage lot on the adjacent prop on the other side of it. Thank you. Um, staff, could you respond to the question, please? Sure. Uh, this lot actually is combining with what, if you, would, if you were standing out, there would be a portion of the parking lot between the old between the uh, old Glen Highway and the fire station itself. So uh, there was a previous planning action that created that sliver that basically g uh, gave those, the property back to the municipality. And it's, um, it's a short section there of parking lot between the old Glen and the fire station. So it's combining those two pieces together into one. Oh, I understand now. I thought it yeah. was, um, I, I couldn't tell. Right, was, right. Okay, well, I just want to, for the record, state that I support the fire department completely and whatever it takes to uh, make life better for those guys is I'm all in favor for. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Cobb. Are there any questions for Mr. Cobb? Nope. Is there anyone else from the public wishing to testify? Would you like to use any of your rebuttal time? She's indicating no. The public hearing portion is closed. Matter now rests with the board. May I have a positive motion? Please, Mr. Walker. In case S12491 ADL lease lot subdivision, I move to approve the plat for 24 months subject to conditions 1, 2, 2A and I, 3A, B, C, and D on page 6 and 7 of the, plat of the um, uh, staff's packet. Thank you. And Mr. Porter seconds. Mr. Walker, will you speak to your motion, please? Um, I find that um, the staff's recommendation with the conditions um, address the items that need to be addressed prior to reaching a final plat and that this is a matter of housekeeping with respect to the Anchorage Municipality's ownership of land. There is no objections from anyone, including neighbors, within a few houses away. In fact, there's support, and we appreciate Mr. Cobb coming down and putting his uh, statement in the record. Um, and for those reasons, I'll be supporting the motion. Thank you. Any additional comments? Any opposition to this motion? Hearing and seeing none, the motion passes. Thank you. Any individual may have appeal rights relating to any action the planning board takes, appeal of this decision, or any of the conditions is governed by AMC 21.11.304. The decision of the board at the scheduled public hearing shall become final seven calendar days after the, the date the decision is made on record unless a written request is submitted to the planning division prior to expiration of the seventh day to prepare a written decision based upon the the record made at the hearing and the request is accompanied by a written notice of intent to appeal. Adoption of the written decision by the planning board becomes the final appealable decision within 20 
days of the final appealable decision, an interested party must file with the municipal clerk either a written motion alleging new evidence or changed circumstances per AMC 21.11.503 or an appeal of the board's final appealable decision per AMC 21.30. Are there any persons to be heard tonight? No. Um, there are no reports. Are there any board member comments? May I have a motion to adjourn, please? Mr. Walker, Ms. Ritz seconds, we are adjourned. Thank you, everybody.